Yo, 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 what's up everybody? It's Mr. Bradley coming to you with yet another video. I ain't gonna take too long on this intro because as y'all can see from the opening scenes and the shirt that I'm rocking, y'all already know what we're talking about today. But before we get too deep into this video, I need you guys to do me a couple of favors. First, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the video and don't forget to share this video. With that being said, let's get right into the topic. So yesterday, Nike shook social media i'll say that they dropped this campaign with colin kaepernick as the face of it who did that make some people mad and i say people of lighter skin color than me that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> got people out here cutting the nike checks off their shorts off their t-shirts got them burning their shoes i these 200 shoes i don't know if y'all can see these pauses but these 200 shoes I, I ain't burning these um not to mention i'm completely for nike i'm all nike all the time for the most part anyway either nike or jordan and before this message i was doing that and after this message i'm really doing that nike is at the forefront of what is really going on a part of me really hates the fact that they did this because they kind of hijacked the topic, but a part of me is here for it, for the simple fact that Colin Kaepernick's message has been lost in the sauce for a long time now. People talking about national anthems and people not standing. We got a president who don't know the words to the national anthem. We got an owner who is at the forefront and who don't even take his hat off. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Jerry Jones. Don't even take his hat off during the national anthem. Yeah, we got people fake mad, like, oh, this, that, that, and the third. When was the last time you did anything for the veterans? When was the last time you helped a homeless veteran out? When was the last time you donated to anything affiliated with veterans? Yo, people fake mad. It's so crazy in this world how people get fake mad over every single thing, like, I'm fake mad at the national anthem, but yeah, you that you probably that same person when the national anthem going off like, oh, this is the perfect time to go get a beer, and the national anthem going off, and you still want to get served. You ain't got your hat off, you ain't standing up, but yeah, let's be mad at Nike because they are bringing awareness to the topic that Colin Kaepernick was getting out there to begin with. I just, it's just surprising to me and so crazy to me. There's so many other things in the world that we can be mad at. We can be mad at the fact that people is hungry in the world. We can be mad at the fact about what's going on in some of our churches. We can be mad at how corrupt corporate America is. We can be mad at uh, social welfare. We can be mad at a whole lot of other things other than the fact that Nike made one of his spokespersons Colin Kaepernick, somebody who stands up against the social injustice of people. Yeah, that's something we should definitely protest, the social injustice of people. How dare everybody get equal rights? How dare some people not be treated unfairly by police? That's ludicrous, that's crazy. How can Nike ever support somebody like that? That makes no sense. Yeah, that's how you sound. When you out here burning Nike apparel because they made Colin Kaepernick a spokesperson. That's how you sound. And this, those people, oh, this shit just makes me so mad. Like, it's crazy to me. You got a president who, John McCain, did I vote for John McCain? No. <laughs> but what John McCain did for this country as a POW, and the president don't even acknowledge him, but yet he can tweet out about Nike and the NFL. Again, like I said, all these fake mad people. Oh, the president of the United States is the pinnacle of what it is to be fake mad. And he fake mad at everything all the time. I support Nike, as you can see from this shirt and the opening previews. I support Nike. I support Colin Kaepernick. I support the, the message that Colin Kaepernick is trying to get out there as a black man as uh, somebody who has been faced with social injustice, as somebody who has been racially profiled, I support everything that, that Nike is putting out there. I support everything that Colin Kaepernick has been the forefront for. You talking about this man gave up his job. And when I say he gave up his job, yes, he gave up his job. He stood up to something, like the campaign said. He stood up to something and lost everything. Like, I feel like this country, instead of actually sitting down and listening to each other, we just rather post, tweet, uh, picturize, videotape how it makes me feel. But not ever really caring about how the next person feel. Like, that's crazy to me. 
I would love to sit down and have a conversation with somebody who doesn't understand what Nike is doing, doesn't understand what Cal and Cap are doing, and really have a conversation with them. Because when you do that, maybe it, it might start to sink in like, damn, I never thought about it that way. But nobody wants to do that because all they ever want to see is their side. But I ain't going to get too deep into this video. I just wanted to bring up and talk about, like I said, Nike. I will be rocking even more Nike. I don't even know if I can rock any more Nike. Pretty much all my stuff I rock is Nike. But yeah, if I can buy more Nike, if I can support Nike even more, they just got even more of my money. <laughs> also, let me know down below how you feel about this topic. Does do you Are you for Nike or are you against Nike? Do you support what Trump is talking about or are you against what Trump is talking about? Are you a hypocrite and you know you're a hypocrite and you don't care that you're a hypocrite? I still want to talk to you. Leave them comments down below. Until the next video, y'all, it's Mr. Bradley checking out.